Happy to be bringing you today. We should thank Mark and the ISCA as a, the primary sponsor for this coverage on the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Yeah, it, we want to send out a great message to all the viewers and all the teams in Western Pennsylvania and even beyond about the International Swim Coaches Association. We sometimes call it ISCA, and ISCA is a sponsor for the broadcasting of the meets this weekend. And I'm fortunate enough to be a volunteer webmaster with ISCA, and we have a special offer. And um, I'm here with Coach Dave Scraven from Upper St. Clair. Dave, um, beautiful facility. How, how do you think it's going? You've never Thanks, seen it. Mark. The, the uh, yeah, meet. so we're real happy to be hosting the meet this weekend. Um, and uh, we're, we're, everybody seems to be pleased with the facility, and I know that our whole staff has put a lot of time and effort into making it uh, just right. So um, we're, we're glad that things are, are going off uh, without a hitch. And there was some weeks in the making, right? There was some a lot of behind the scenes work. To- yeah, the, yeah. So uh, we were awarded the meet about a month ago, but we've been, you know, we've been hoping since around November or so, so when it became clear that we wouldn't be able to go to pit that, you know, we felt that we uh, had a, a facility that would be you know, a, a good place to have the meet. So, although officially it's been about a month, we've been hope. You know, we've been kind of working behind the scenes for several months to get ready. Well, let's talk about the Upper St. Clair swimmers, but let's jump back all the way to a year ago up at at Bucknell. Right. And there was this two-day state championships, and what? How did? It, there was some. Um, yeah. So they pulled the plug after the prelim sessions on day two. Um, you know, so, so, um, you know, we had some decent swims on that morning, but for example, you know, our uh, state champion, Josh and Hunter Breaststroke, you know, he kind of was just cruising the prelims, not knowing that he wasn't going to be swimming it again at finals. You know what I mean? So he never really got that fast swim he was looking for. And so uh, then what happened for Josh's training throughout the course of the summer and fall and leading up till tomorrow. Yeah, so he he um, was out of the water just like everybody else for a while and then you know did, a, did some backyard pool swimming in April. Oh, good. Uh, you know, tethered swimming. And then uh, he, was, he went to a, a friend's um, in Omaha, Nebraska over uh, Memorial Weekend and got a week of training in there. And then when he came back, uh, that's when things were starting to slowly open up and it started with country clubs, you know, so he was able to get in there and he's been swimming nonstop since the end of May. And um, how's um, the swim club? You have a, you formed a team called Peak. That's right, yeah. So um, we, last summer was great for us because we had, we, you know, we were running, out, initially we were running out of six pools and, you know, working it that way and then uh you know fortunately the the scott township pool opened which is a you know 50 meter pool and we could put a lot of people in there so we had great operations through the summer and then uh you know with restrictions this since the fall it's been tough because a lot of our all of our facilities are either you know closed in the case of pit or uh, the communities uh, are restricted to the people that live in the community. So when you're a regional team, that's, uh, it's hard to operate uh, normally under that circumstance. So we're looking forward to things, you know, being able to open up again and get back to what we were doing. And then um, how's, tell us about the varsity team. What's it look like for Upper St. Clair yeah, this so coming we're, tomorrow? We're in an exciting battle. I mean, as you, as you well know, it's, it, there's not always a lot of suspense in the uh, team competitions, especially on the boys' side. This year, that's not the case, yeah. right? There's three teams uh, in particular that are uh, vying for the championship. And, you know, uh, we're in a little bit of a hole right now after diving. Seneca Valley was really strong in diving, so we got some work to do. Um, but, uh, you know, anything can happen on race day, and we're really excited and, and looking forward to a great competition. The it, girls, uh, you know, we, we have 
some outstanding swimmers and, and uh, great relays. Um, you know, probably not the numbers, you know, to be in the, uh, the top one or two, but I know we're going to be really competitive and, and we're gonna, definitely going to do some damage, uh, you know, in the, in, the, in the events that we're in. So then looking forward, um, Josh Matheny, um, you know, our s s local hero, superstar, mm -hmm. is going to be swimming in Indiana next fall. But between now and then, there's something called the Olympic Trials. And how is that looking That's for? right. Yeah. So Josh is training. I mean, really, since he got back in the water at the end of May, it's all been a revolving around what he does this June. Uh, you know, June 13th is his first race, the 100 breast at the Olympic Trials. So that is, that is the, you know, the thing that this season has been moving toward. But the high school has been uh, great for him to, you know, to throw a fast suit on and to race and to be able to compete. And, um, you know, he's really excited about uh, what our team opportunity is uh, tomorrow. And I know that he, you know, he's, he's going to be sharp. Well, and then he'll swim individually, the breaststroke, of course. And then the, the individual medley, is that his He other? does the 200 IM as well. Okay. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then w you'll have him on a relay or two? Yeah, he'll do relays. Josh always, you know, he, he, right. he, the medley, he does breaststroke on the medley, obviously. And then, uh, you know, he's always uh, the anchor of our, uh, of our 400 free relay. So Good. Good. And um, what about um, Olympic trials itself? Do you, you, we don't know what he'll be seated right now. But no, but I mean, he's a he's a U.S. national team member, which means that he's one of the six fastest in the 200 breaststroke. So, um, I anticipate that he'll be, you know, seated in the uh, in the top eight or so in that event. And did they swim up like a prelims, consolations, finals? Like, how do they? There's three rounds. You know, all of, with the exception of the 400s and up, those have preliminaries and finals, but. All of the 100s and 200s, you have preliminaries, and then you get your top 16. The top 16 swim in the semifinals, and then the top eight swim in the finals. So there's three rounds. Everybody's used to doing two rounds, but there's three rounds yeah. at the trials. You can wave over to your fans. Um, and then each of those races are on their own day, or the semifinals and finals on one day? or. When we're, um, so they do the preliminaries in the morning and the semifinals at night. Okay. And then the following Thanks. night is when they do the finals. Okay. Well, wish you luck tomorrow. I wish Thanks um, so you much, luck Mark. in June. Thanks so much, Mark. I appreciate June. it. And um, it's a pleasure to be here. Hopefully um, we can get um, more swimming for a lot of kids all, all summer, too. That's right. Yep. Okay. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. When you join ISCA, you get access to the global library for ISCA members. It's a learning management system that is packed full of wonderful educational enrichment, professional development, all the articles and webinars. We appreciate uh, ISCA for sponsoring this. Appreciate you telling me I'm able to call it ISCA. That makes it easier. The National Swim Coaches Association. It Appreciate our sponsors, our sponsor today, the International Swim Coaches Association, to help bring this to you, the best seat in the house. You had it right here, coverage of the WPL 2A Girls Swimming Championships. It was here and only here on the Trib Live High School Sports Network.